am Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio. Today I wanted to do a design video on this quilt here. This is another 1930s quilt top that I purchased and I have not found the pattern name for this block here but it looks like a snowball or a variation of a snowball block to me. As you can see this is the main block here and it is made with quarter circles on each corner and when they come together they form this circle here and on this quilt what the piecer has done is um, she has alternated the print with the solid so on this block the center is print on this block the center is a solid fabric and then that gives you where the blocks come together then you get these alternating colors here print print solid solid I'm going to play around with this design a little I did um, show it to some of my long arm friends and we spent some time playing with our plastic overlay and drawing some designs and um, I wanted to work on it a little bit more because I still am not sure what I want to do with this okay so what I want to do is to do a custom job on this and um, there are several ideas that I've been playing around with. And the first is that whatever I do in these corners, I'm going to do the same thing in each in each corner of the block, so that it'll make a secondary design. The secondary design will show up separately from here. So whatever I do here I'm going to do in all all the corners. Now this center here I could alternate and do a couple of different designs uh, between blocks. I haven't quite decided what I want to do yet. But um, if I start here and just outline and I tend to start that way when I'm trying to come up with designs for one of these vintage tops because I know this is probably the design they would have chosen at least to begin with. Now this is a big space I would think they would probably fill this maybe not, depends on the quilter but if we did this and if I wanted to avoid stops and starts um, what I could do is treat this kind of like a, a Greek key and go around and try to keep my stitching evenly spaced whether it is a half inch or a quarter inch um, it doesn't matter so much as long as it is equally spaced and what I do here how densely I quilt this I need to quilt this just as densely so one thing that I could do in these corners is to uh, just divide it and do like a uh, a fan design on here and can do this in all four corners and there's number four and so we have that design which I think that's pleasing to the eye I think I like that one it's more of a modern design as opposed to something traditional. And then when all of these corners come together, then we would have, this would just be divided. I would probably also do a uh, stitch in the ditch here. And then go ahead and divide the rest of these circles so that we'd have, kind of, it would look like a spokes on a wheel here. So that's one design that we could do. Okay, if we want to do, let's say put a motif in here. I would probably once again outline I like to outline um, 
because I think it gives more definition to the piecing. And also it, it helps because it takes up more space so that you, when you're filling in the centers, you don't have as much space that you have to fill up. So if we want, wanted to, um, we could put um, like a flower in here. We could just do a cabbage rose type design. Something like that. And we could also let's do a let's do a spin feather. And come up here. And my goal will be to get into all those corners the best that I can. And once again, I do quilt better than I draw. It's hard to draw on uh, these plastic overlays sometimes. So they would have that in there. And then for the outside, um, I think I would treat this Like I would a triangle and do a half, um, a half feather on these. Um, trying to decide which way I want these to go. them facing in or we could have them facing out and that would look like this something like that not my best drawing but I think you get the idea of that what that would look like Another thing we could do, um, we're going to look at this, um, okay, so we're going to do this here. <clears throat> now, if I was going to do a feather, <clears throat> I wasn't real happy with the way that feather turned out there, so I'm going to try something a little bit different. Um, still thinking about doing a feather, though, <clears throat> and I'm going to use these two seams here as guides, and these two here. But I'm going to make a kind of a half feather here and a half feather there. And this is going to go here as a landmark here, our registration mark. I'm going to come up. So what I would be doing when I'm quilting this is I would start by looking at this as two separate blocks to begin with instead of just one block. And I would do that because um, if I don't, I will get confused as to which direction the feathers in these uh, corners would go, and I'd wind up having a bunch of them quilted differently. So that's just me. I know how my brain works. My, I have a hard time flipping things from one side to the other unless I have them drawn out, or if I have a plan like this where when I load this on the machine, I know I want this to be the horizontal axis, axis, the horizontal axis, and um, the feathers will come in towards the top. So that will help me keep things straight in my brain. So if you have those kinds of issues like I do, just find ways that help you keep things um, kind of in order in your brain that makes sense to you because um, I'm a very visual person I just cannot um, just tell myself well this is how it's going to be I have to actually see it and I actually I like this um, I like this a lot so this may be what I decide to do now for this pearl here you could also do a circle instead of a pearl if you want or you could do a heart shape in there, but if you want to do 
like a circle, it would look like this. And then your feathers would come down to, to reach that. So I really do like that. Um, another thing we could do, let's see if I can get back to, let me work on uh, this one here since, so you can see a little better. This has a solid center. I'm going to do a few different ideas with this one. Um, another thing we could do also, I'm going to do a quarter inch outline stitch. If we want to do something just more, a little bit more linear, I mean, you've got it right there. That's all you would have to do. It would be like quilting, but that would be enough for that. And then on um, your outside, you could just outline stitch this also. Now, if you want to prevent stops and starts, um, we can do the little trick that I do on like bow tie quilts. Sneak over to the seam, come over, and then do this. And then you've got a little bit that is out here, but it's really not going to matter a whole lot. You're not going to notice it. And then stitch in the ditch here. And then come around. Oops. Like this way. And another way, let me show you another way that would be easier. You wouldn't have to backtrack so much. Would be to stitch the inside and then the outside. So, and by that I mean we'll start here and we're going to go all the way to the seam, stitch in the ditch, to the seam, stitch in the ditch, and then around and back in the seam, over and stitch in the ditch. Now all we have to do is do the outside. So we're going to ditch up to here and then we're going to sneak out there and go around. And sneak along that line there, back in the ditch, come out, and then go around. So you see, this would be, you wouldn't have to break thread, you wouldn't have as much backtracking, and it would probably go a lot faster. So if you want to do something simple, you could do that. And I think that would be fine. You could also um, put in an extra if you want more quilting in here, come in and just do an extra stitching here. And I think that gives it a little bit more dimension. And then on your, your little triangles, I think that's probably would probably be enough quilting, but if you want to do more, you could also come in and uh, do some more, do another in like that if you'd like. So there's lots of different things you could do there. So, um, just a couple of ideas. I think I will go with the feather motif. Um, yeah, I think that's probably what I will do for this. But there's uh, other things that you can do. So um, just play around with your quilts and see what you like. And ask your friends. Have them come over or take your quilt over to them and say, help me play around with this design and uh, see if I, we can come up with something that uh, feels good for this quilt. So I hope this was informative and I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thanks for watching.